Hi there, I'm Jackie from Echidna Sewing and welcome to My Design Centre Basics. In this video we are working with the stamp feature and how you can use it as an outline for your embroidery. This cute design is what we'll be creating. My Design Centre is available on many brother models. Today I will be using the Stellaire, but to make sure that we're all on the same page, we do need to change some settings once we get in there. So we're going to go into My Design Centre. We do need to go into our machine settings and we need to scroll to our page that gives us our measurements. And we are actually going to change it to inches today. And let's go back to our embroidery frame display. We don't want anything displayed. So to do that, we need to set it to the largest frame, which is our nine and a half by 14 on the Stellaire. We also want to turn off our grid so that we have nothing displayed. And then we're good to go ready for our next step. Remember, you are able to pause, rewind and re-watch each step as many times as you like. Let's get to it and grab a machine. Okay, now we're in the My Design Centre. We actually do need to go out of My Design Centre first to get our embroidery design that we want to do as a sample. So we need to go into embroidery. I'm just picking a design that is about five by five inches. So it's this sewing one here. We're going to set that as our design that we're going to create an outline for um, using our stamp feature. So we go into edit and then we have this symbol here which is a flower and we need to select that and you'll see that it has put an outline around our embroidery. Now I like that outline to be slightly away from our design so we're going to increase the size of it. You can decrease it as well if you wanted to get in closer. We're going up to 5'2". Whoop, a little bit too far. Let's go back one. Okay, so I like how far this outline is from my design. And now we need to select memory to save it to the machine. And it's just telling us here where we can recall the design from. So it is in our shapes section of our My Design Center. So we're going to say OK because we understand where to go. We now need to add that outline to our design. So we need to select Add. We go into the My Design Center here. OK, now we're in the My Design Center. We need to bring in that outline or stamp. Uh, that we created in the embroidery edit screen. So we need to go into our shapes here. That was the symbol we saw earlier. We need to go into the flower symbol here, which is your stamp. And there we go, there's our outline or stamp that we've created. We go OK. And as you can see, we've brought that through and it does have this red outline around it. That's not a stitch line or anything. It's just a selection box. It allows you to um, be able to use these symbols down here. Um, if I touch off the shape, you'll see that these have all now greyed out. Okay, now I'm going to select a frame outline for the hoop that I'm using. So we need to again go back into our shapes. We need to select the frame symbol up the top here. It's a quick and easy way to get that outline. And I'm going to be using the nine and a half by nine and a half. And as you can see, there are other options available. We're gonna select that one by going okay. Now you can see that there is still that red selection box around that. So at this point, again, I do have these extra options. We are not going to uh, use them at this point, but uh, just something to note, both these outlines actually do not have a stitch uh, allocated to them. So they are actually not going to stitch out. So if I select next, I'll do it again because you hear that knock sound. Um, that means that it's got nothing allocated to those lines to stitch. We're actually just going to fill between these two shapes um, using our fill options here. So we would select our options. We need to select our extra fills here because I have a particular fill in mind. I'm going to select and go into our extra ones. And here is the shape, the uh, fill type we're going to use, which is the cross hatch. And OK. Now I'm just going to change the color to a dark blue so we can see that clearly on the screen. 
and OK. We need to use our bucket because if I have this selected, it'll only change the screen where I touch it. Just going to undo that. So we need to use our paint bucket and we're going to select between the two objects and it fills it instantly, which is great. All right. So now that we've done that, I will be able to go to the next screen because we have allocated a stitch or a fill type in that design. So we've gone to our next screen and this is where we have a few options available to us. If we didn't like this fill stitch, we can actually still change it by selecting this one here. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go OK. OK, down here we have the extra fill um, options so we can change the size. So you can go up or down. We've got your rotation direction. So again, you can um, go up and down in 15 degree increments. Uh, you also have an outline. Okay, so it's actually on. So what it will do, automatically put a stitch line around our two shapes. So I'm gonna show you what that means. So I'll just cancel out of that. And um, I've left all these settings, so we're going to preview it now. Now we can see this message has come up. It just says that this has not been saved. We don't need to save it at this point because we're going to just check how it looks. I'm going to say OK. So here on the screen, you can see that it has put an outline stitch around our fill that we put on there. Okay, so this you would have seen on, pre on the, some of the models already on the other screen. Uh, for the Stella, we do have to go to this separate preview screen. Okay, now I do not want to keep that hard line um, for quilting. I like it to be a little bit softer so it doesn't have this hard edge. So we're actually going to take that off. So we're going to return back to our options. And where it's got the on, we're going to select that. I'm actually going to turn this off. Oop, did not select. There we go. And we're going to set that now. Now I like to, if I'm happy with it, I like to save the design. So I'm actually going to do that now and save it to the machine. This is just so in case I need to make any changes later on and I've changed my mind about the fill stitch. So we're going to preview it. And here you can see now there is no line around our two shapes, which is great. That's exactly what I want. I'm happy with that. So I'm ready to set it as an embroidery. So we just select set. It's gonna tell you that it's converting it, which is what we want. And we go, okay. And now you can see that it has placed that fill stitch around our lovely embroidery. And we're all done, ready to stitch out. So we've stitched that one out now and it looks great. So we have created this lovely design with the fill stitch. It does stop where we created that nice little outline gap around our embroidery. So very happy with that. I hope you are with yours. Happy stitching and thank you for joining us with our My Design Centre Basics video. See you next time.